Well, in today's deep dive, we're going to take a look at a potential new Republican star rising in Utah. It's a state that has an African-American population of about 1%. And Mia Love stands out from there. She's a young, fiscally conservative Mormon who also happens to be black, and she's running for Congress. Love caught the attention of Republicans two months ago after blowing out her competition. At the Utah Republican Convention, she won 70% of the delegates, and it was enough to, uh, support to bypass a primary election in that state. In November, she faces a tough fight against a longtime uh, name in Utah politics and the six-term Democrat, Jim Matheson, in what has become one of the more closely watched congressional races in the country. And she's already got the support of some big-name Republicans. Congressman Paul Ryan hosted a fundraiser for her in Park City last month and just last week. Romney announced, and Romney announced her support for love. NBC's Craig Melvin is here. Craig, you went out to Utah, hung I did. out with Mia Love. What'd you learn? Uh, I'll tell you one thing. She is quite the runner. More on that a little bit later. A lot of folks, <laughs> Chuck, they may not know her name just yet, but Mia Love, as you mentioned, creating quite the stir within the Republican Party, generating some sorely needed buzz and excitement in the GOP, long criticized for its lack of diversity and inclusiveness. The trail running native New Yorker who has adopted Utah as her home and converted to Mormonism as her faith is about to do some political trailblazing. As mayor of a small town, Love is set to hit the political big time as she makes a historic run for Congress, perhaps becoming the first black Republican Congresswoman and also becoming the fresh new face of the GOP. This is quite the hill. Oh, it gets worse. Mia Love is the is running... Gunning. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm just Glad handing mayor of Saratoga Springs, a town of 20,000 just outside Salt Lake City, Utah. You love this place, don't you? Oh, I love it. Life is just great out here. The 36 year old became the Republican nominee for Congress in Utah's 4th District. Now, Love is running the race of her life. A win in November means she'd make history. The first black Republican woman ever elected to Congress. But that's not what she wants to talk about. We're focused on color and race when we should be focused on preserving the future, preserving this country. You don't talk about race a lot, do you? I don't because it doesn't define who I am. And in a town that's more than 90 percent white, her constituents don't mind either. I think that's wonderful that she's she brings some culture and, and some diversity to the plate. Her race is not an issue to me. The mother of three would rather be known for her brand of conservatism, rooted, she claims, in her Mormon faith. I support marriage between a man and a woman. And her Haitian parents' immigrant upbringing. I just watched two people achieve the American dream, work hard. I'm a product of that. Love says she'd vote to shrink programs aimed at reducing poverty, cut spending, simplify the tax code, and overhaul popular programs like Medicare and Social Security. I think my opponent represents views that are way out there. For 12 years, Congressman Jim Matheson has represented the most Republican district held by a Democrat. You know my past. I mean, it's really not the politics I was raised on. He's the son of a former governor and admits Love's story is compelling, but not her politics. I don't think Utah families who are counting on Social Security to be there want to support someone who says we should phase out Social Security. I don't think Utah families who value college education want someone who says we should stop doing federal student loans. But Utah political experts aren't sure how much things like this will matter with Utahns who want to send a message. There's a sense by some of these Mormon Republican voters that electing a black Republican woman will demonstrate that whatever people say about Mormons and their history with race, maybe it's not so true. Love says she's used to slogging uphill and knows this will be a long, hard race. I believe we're going to win, and we're going to win decisively. Now Chuck, the GOP already has some big plans for love with outside money rolling into that campaign. She's going to headline the Republican National Convention in Tampa. And despite her rookie status, love could end up being the new darling of the Republican Party. Experts at this point are giving her about a 50-50 shot in November, especially with Mitt Romney at the top of the ticket in, uh, in Utah. I might say she's about a, a little better than that. I mean, it's okay. a tough new district. They yeah. redrew it in a way to make it even harder for Matheson to hold on. Hey, Craig Mellon, that was great. I guess... You were the only one that could be a decent runner, so that's that's oh, why you we, ended up in the That was summer. carefully edited, my friend. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. You basically ran what, about a block that's or right. two and You know me well. Ah <laughs> uh, nice work, Craig. Thank Thanks, you, sir. Buddy.